Hello, kindergartners. This is Miss Ray showing you this week's book for our lessons on Thursday and Friday. It's The Three Little Pigs. Okay, I'm sure you've heard something about this story before. This is by Paul Galdone. Okay, this is the cover of the book, the front cover. This is the spine. And this is the back cover. All right, we're going to turn into our book. And this book has uh, almost like two title pages. This is the three pigs holding up a sign. It says, The Three Little Pigs. And then here is the big title page. Okay, The Three Little Pigs by Paul Galdone. And he, his name is the only one there, so he is the author. What does the author do? Right, he writes the book, the words in the book. And he is the illustrator. What does an illustrator do? That's right, he or... If it's a woman, she will draw the pictures in the book. All right, let's get started. Once upon a time, there was an old sow with three little pigs. She had no money to keep them, so she sent them off to seek their fortune. The first little pig met a man with a bundle of straw and said to him, Please, man, give me that straw to build me a house. So the man did, and the little pig built his house with it. Along came a wolf. He knocked at the door and said, Little pig, little pig, let me come in. No, no, said the little pig, not by the hair of my chinny chin chin. Then I'll huff, and I'll puff, and I'll blow your house in, said the wolf. That's a scary wolf. So the wolf huffed, and he puffed, and he blew the house in. And he gave, ate up the first little pig. Oh, my goodness. Looks scary with those teeth. The second little pig met a man with a bundle of sticks, and he said, Please, man, give me those sticks to build me a house. So the man did, and the little pig built his house with them. Then along came the wolf and said, Little pig, little pig, let me come in. No, no, not by the hair of my chinny chin chin. Then I'll huff, and I'll puff, and I'll blow your house in, said the wolf. What do you think's going to happen? So he huffed, and he puffed, and he huffed, and he puffed. And at last he blew the house in, and he ate up. The second little pig. Mm, that's sad. The third little pig met a man with a load of bricks and said, Please, ma'am, give me those bricks to build me a house. So the man did, and the little pig built his house with them. Soon came the wolf. And said, Little pig, little pig, let me come in. No, no, not by the hair of my chinny chin chin. Then I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house in, said the wolf. See, there he is looking in the window. Well, he huffed and he and he huffed, and he and he and he 
but he could not blow the house in. Why could he not do this one? At last, the wolf stopped huffing and puffing and said, Little pig, I know where there is a nice field of turnips. Where? said the little pig. On Mr. Smith's farm, said the wolf. I will come for you tomorrow morning. We will go together and get some turnips for supper. Very well, said the little pig. What time? What time will you come? Oh, at six o'clock, said the wolf. Oh boy, looks like he's got an idea up in his head. Well, the little pig got up at five. He went to Mr. Smith's farm, got the turnips before the wolf came to his house. Little pig, are you ready? asked the wolf. The little pig said, ready. I've been and come back again and I got a nice pot full of turnips for my dinner. Oh, he tricked the wolf. The wolf was very angry. Then he thought of another way to get the little pig, so he said, Little pig, I know where there is a nice apple tree. Where? said the pig. Down at Merry Garden, replied the wolf. I will come for you at five o'clock tomorrow morning, and we will get some apples. Do you think the pig's going to fall for his plan this time? Well, the little pig got up the next morning at four o'clock and went off for the apples. He wanted and then to get back home before the wolf came, but it was a long way to Merry Garden and then he had to climb the tree. Just as he was climbing back down with his basket full of apples, he saw the wolf coming. Little pig, said the wolf, you got here before me. Are the apples nice? Yes, very, said the little pig. I will throw one down to you. And he threw an apple as far as he could throw. While the wolf ran to pick it up, the little pig jumped down and ran home. The next day, the wolf came again and said to the little pig, Little pig, there is a fair at Shanklin this afternoon. Would you like to go? Oh, yes, said the little pig. When will you come to get me? At three, said the wolf. He's going to try again. Well, the little pig went off at two o'clock and bought a bunner churn at the fair. He was going home with it when he saw the wolf coming. The little pig jumped into the butter churn to hide. The churn fell over and rolled down the hill with the little pig in it. This frightened Wolf so much that he turned around and ran home. Later, the wolf went to the little pig's house and told him what happened. A great round thing came rolling down the hill right at me, the wolf said. Ha, huh, I frightened you then, said the little pig. I went to the fair and bought a butter churn. When I saw you, I got into it and rolled down the hill. The wolf was very angry indeed. I'm going to climb, climb down your chimney and eat you up, he said. When the little pig heard the wolf on the roof, wonder what he's going to do. He hung a pot full of water in the fireplace. Then he built a blazing fire. Just as the wolf was coming down the chimney, the little pig took cover, the cover off the pot and in fell the wolf. The little pig quickly put the cover on again, boiled up the wolf, and ate him for supper. And the little pig lived happily ever afterward. The end. So the final pig got revenge on that wolf, didn't he? He got him back for eating his brothers. I hope you enjoyed this book. See you next time.